Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all you guys are having an awesome, fantastic day. Now, this time yesterday, the mayor of Orange County released a stay at home order, which is basically a lockdown, but it's only for Orange County, which is basically all of Orlando, including the theme park area, but not the whole state of Florida isn't in a lockdown, which I find very weird. So I can drive to Tampa, which I believe Tampa has more cases than Orlando right now. I just find that weird. So today is pretty much the only day I can be out. Now I do understand it's probably not the best idea for me to be out right now. So if you're one of those people who have to leave your every opinion down in the comments, just click off the video right now and save it. I'm going to be filming today's video in my car. I have Germex right here. I'm keeping my social distancing. So I'll be okay. This is actually the first day I've been out of the house in three days getting some fresh air. And since I'm gonna be on a lockdown for who knows how long, I believe right now it's only until April 9th. So definitely gotta take it in. I'm coming to you today from downtown Orlando. Now this place is a ghost town. There's not a lot of people out right now. There's a lot of police patrolling the area. There is a lot of homeless people who will conjugate down here. So I think that's one of the reasons why there's so many police cars down here. But I'm just gonna drive throughout downtown Orlando. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. I am now coming up on the Camping World Stadium. And this is where they had this year's NFL Pro Bowl. We are now coming up on the Orlando City soccer team. This is where they play all their games. Again, there are a lot of homeless on this side of the downtown area, but it's pretty much empty. As I'm seeing a fight break right now, don't get me wrong, Orlando is pretty safe, at least the four years I've lived here. Now, just like every other city in the country or the world, you have your good and you have your bad parts of the city. And one side of downtown Orlando is the bad side, which we are on right now. And then the other side of downtown Orlando, very nice, very safe. That's where all the nightlife and clubs and restaurants are. I left my car on just to hop out of the car really quick because there's nobody around me. Again, social distancing, nobody. I am approaching the Amway Arena. This is home to the Orlando Magic. Yeah, you're never going to see this place this empty. I do want to point out really quickly, this is where I come to renew my Disney annual pass because if you renew here at the Amway Center, you do get a free Orlando Magic jersey when you renew or buy an annual pass. So if you guys are looking to purchase an annual pass, make the trip to the Amway because you get like a free $150 jersey. And right as you cross I-4, you are leaving the bad side and going into the good side. And this is where you will find all of your nightlife and restaurants and shopping. Big businesses are down here as well. I am making my way through Church Street right now. This is where a lot of people will come before a Orlando Magic game or Orlando City soccer game and get a bite to eat. It's pretty crazy seeing downtown Orlando like this. I know we still see a few people, but of course they are keeping their social distancing. But usually there's so many people walking up and down this road right here coming up on Central. This video is sponsored by Mickey Travels. If you're looking to book your next Disney vacation, go get your free quote today from mickeytravels.com as they never charge you anything to book your next Disney vacation. And they are one of the select few travel agencies in the world that are platinum earmarked by Disney themselves. Go visit my friends down in the description and click on the link for your next Disney vacation. I just parked the car quickly to get out and have a look around Lake Eola this place is so peaceful and beautiful. They do have a really nice running trail. So if you wanna go on that nice walk or run, this is called the Walt Disney Theater where they will have live performances. If you ever need something to do while you're here on vacation, I would suggest come down here to downtown Orlando and rent one of these Swan paddle boats. You can find a really cheap deal on Groupon. Come down here, take it out on the lake and just enjoy your day. Whoa, 
look at this guy. Just hanging out, chilling. Oh, good to see you too. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Like I said, this place is beautiful. You can come down here and have a picnic in the park. Side note, I would love to one day live in this apartment complex if I end up not getting a house anytime soon. I think that's a good amount of being outside with the public. There are a lot of people down here getting their exercise on, which I don't blame them. If I would have known that, I may would have brought my running shoes and had a mile run. It's such a beautiful day. You know, it sucks that this thing is going on in the world because if you look right here behind me, it's just a regular day here in downtown Orlando. There are a lot of older people down here too, just walking around. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but let's get back in the car. As I'm driving down the road here, I just passed a lot of restaurants with signs out front saying, take out only open for business and one of them said we need business you know it's just really sad especially here in orlando because as some of you guys may know we don't pay state tax because so many tourists visits orlando throughout the year it's just it's just sad seeing so many businesses hurting right now i am now passing the dr phillips center i just parked my car to visit our next location this one may tug on the heartstrings a little bit on june 12th 2016 a massive shooting happened at Pulse which is a nightclub here near downtown Orlando and I have a story to go along with that I was asked to come here on that night with some of my friends in the Disney College program but I had a Chef Mickey shift and those shifts go until about 11:30 in the evening so there was kind of no way I would be able to make it down here to hang out with my friends luckily my friends ended up not going because I said I did not want to go. But just imagine if I would have tried to get off work or try to come as soon as I got off, who knows what would have happened here. But you know, this place will always have a special spot in my heart and all Floridians. I mean, this was huge. This was so devastating. This was world news. And you know, if you know anybody who may have been affected by this shooting, my heart goes out to you. You know, I love this place. As you guys see, they still have a big old memory wall of all those innocent lives that were lost that day. That was pretty sad, walking past Pulse. I just remember that night so clearly and then getting on my Facebook feed and just seeing, seeing what happened and turning on the news and watching it happen live. It was a very unreal time in life that somebody would want to do that. You know, any violence, I, I just don't understand why people have to take violence in their own hand. Breaks my heart. But very glad I was able to bring you guys down here and share that experience with you all. All right, I just made it home from visiting downtown Orlando and ending with visiting Pulse and remembering that tragic day. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it wasn't a normal video that I typically would do on this channel. To be honest with you guys, I'm kind of already running out of ideas. I am going so crazy being in the house. You know, that was my first day coming out of the house in three days. So it was so nice to get fresh air and just seeing other people than myself and Bianca in these walls at the house like i said i do have a few ideas a disney top five video a lot of you guys are asking for cooking videos so videos will remain coming but i just 
I just want to go to the theme parks. I'm going crazy. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are too. There's only so much Disney Plus and Netflix one man can watch. Maybe once this lockdown goes away, I'll bring you guys down to downtown Winter Park because that's just as nice as downtown Orlando, to be honest. I had a fun time. We were outside for about 45 minutes and I'm already back home. If you guys enjoyed today's video by visiting downtown Orlando, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are new here because we do this quite often. And go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know how you guys are handling being locked down or quarantined for, what is it, a week, two weeks now? I just turned on the news and I guess the president and the House and the Senate reached an agreement with the checks that's coming to us Americans in need. So hopefully we'll be having a decent check coming in the mail for us to help out with everything. You know, things are changing day by day and hour to hour, so I really can't tell you what's going to happen tomorrow because it's changing so fast. As always, thank you so much for all the love and support. I really do appreciate it and I love you guys so much. Remember, it's nice to be nice and YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next video. Prince Charming out. In a morning, it's time to end the ride. They need to slowly Were those gonna lift me up this time? You were the only One who got me tripping up inside All the words you told me And my reading something different from your eyes See you